Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Impart in us, O Lord, in kindness, the filial devotion with which your holy brothers venerated so devoutly the Mother of God, and lead your people to yourself through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The whole world spoke the same language using the same words, while the people were migrating in the east. They came upon a valley in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, Come, let us mold bricks and harden them of fire. They used bricks for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its tops in the sky, and so make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we shall be scattered all over the earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower that they had built. Then the Lord said, If now, while they are one people, all speaking the same language, they have started to do this, nothing will later stop them from doing whatever they presume to do. Let us then go down there, confuse their language, so that not one, <clears throat> so that not understand what another said. Thus the Lord scattered them from there all over the earth. 
and they stopped building the city. That is why it is called Babel, because the Lord confused the speech of all the world. It was from that place that he had scattered them all over the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord brings not to the plans of nations. He foils the designs of peoples. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Blessed be the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven he looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed be the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell in the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily enter into the fellowship of the gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I call you my friends, says the told me Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Glory to you, O Lord Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? What could one give in exchange for his life? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this faithless and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. He also said to them, Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the kingdom of God has come in power. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The last couple of weeks we've had some interesting readings. Most of them are familiar with them. The story of God creating the world and how in six days created the world and the seventh day and the rest of it. And then we have the story of Adam and Eve committing original sin. And then we have the story of... Um, the flood, where God wiped out sinful humankind. And then we have the story today of um, the Tower of Babel. Um, it's kind of interesting. We've been, uh, the Babylonians in 587 before Jesus was born, they came down and conquered uh, Jerusalem, destroyed the city, burned the temple. And the people they let off as uh, the survivors, the Israelites, they led them back to Babylon as, as captives. And they were there for about 50 years. And it's during this time that those stories in Genesis were written. I wonder if maybe they were written because they heard the Babylonian story of creation. Did you know the Babylonians had a story of creation too? It was very different from the one in Genesis. There were many gods in the beginning 
and the gods fought among each other, and the old gods got tired of the young gods because they were noisy all night when the old gods wanted to sleep. And so finally, the, some of the old gods wanted to kill the young gods, and they had a big battle, and from the body of one god, the gods created the world. From the body of another god, they created man. Kind of different from the story of Genesis, isn't it? I'm sure the Israelites in Babylon didn't like that story the Babylonians were telling, so that's when they wrote their story, where there's only one God. He created the world out of love, and he created the world from nothing, not from the body of a dead God. And uh, then he gave man a special place in creation uh, to rule over and take care of everything. And then sin came along, and that kind of disrupted everything. And eventually, the flood came along to wipe out sinful mankind. The Babylonians had a flood story too. And there the gods decided just to get kill human beings because people are so noisy sometimes. But one of the gods decided, no, I don't want to kill all these people. So he talked to a guy by the name of Gilgamesh and told him to build an ark and take animals on the ark to preserve them. And then the flood came and killed all the rowdy kids down below, people. And um, then the God gave Gilgamesh a plant of life. And as long as he had that plant of life with him, he could live forever. But one day he went swimming and he left the plant on the shore and a serpent, the snake, came along and ate the plant. And that's why men have to die. Again, the, ba the Israelites in Babylon didn't like that story, so they told the story of Noah and the ark, where God is a God of justice. He doesn't like sinful people. He can't live with them, but the just people he rewards and so on. And then today we have the story of the uh, Tower of Babel. If you go even to Palestine, or not to Palestine, but if you go to uh, Saudi Arabia, which was where the Babylonians came, in Iraq and so on. Throughout the desert, you see these great big towers uh, that were built centuries ago. And I'm sure when the Israelites were led into slavery, their children asked their moms and dads, what's the meaning of all those towers? And probably they told the story, well, people were trying to get to God, um, but uh, out of pride, they wanted to be like God, and that's why uh, they didn't succeed. And also, the children probably asked their parents, Mom and Dad, why do these people speak a different language? And so finally, the author Genesis told the story of the Tower of Babel and how because of pride, people were be like, trying to become like God, uh, and that's why God confused their languages. So there's definitely a connection in the first 11 chapters to the story of the creation of the world, to the story of the flood, to the story of the Tower of Babel, to the Babylonian story of creation, the flood, and uh, men building towers to be like God. But always the Israelites, in writing their story in Genesis, wanted to point out the goodness of God, the God who loves us, who cares for us, and um, a God who also can't live with sinners. If we want to be a friend of God, you have to turn away from sin. And then there's a couple lines in today's a responsorial psalm. It says, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Who would those people be? The people the Lord has chosen to be his own. How many of you have been baptized? Yeah. Through baptism, you became God's adopted sons and daughters. You're the people God has chosen to be his own. Oh, great. In the Alleluia verse, it says, I call you my friends. Isn't it kind of nice to know that God considers us to be his friends? Now, in order to be a good friend, what do you have to do? You have to be a good friend, don't you? If you want to be a friend of God's, well, you have to do the things that are important to God, like keeping the Ten Commandments. Because God loves you and because he loves your parents, he loves everybody else, he wants us to love one another. So God calls us to be his friends, to be a friend of God, then we have to try to get along with everybody else and love them too. 
So, uh, wow, we're really lucky to be friends of God, aren't we? Be aware of that always. And sometimes when somebody rubs you the wrong way, causes you upset or whatever, remember that that person's a friend of God too. So try to forgive that friend and love him too. It's hard to do that sometimes, so we come here today and we ask Jesus to help us. Let us pray. O oh God, your heavenly Father, your Son Jesus died on the cross for us and rose from the dead so that we could all become his friend through baptism and be his adopted sons and daughters. Help us always to live accordingly. Grant us this and the favors we ask in Jesus' name. Please respond with the Lord hear our prayer. For the universal Catholic Church, preaching salvation through the life-giving cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all believers will withstand temptation and follow the path to righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of our country, that they may turn to the Lord in times of trouble and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have suffered loss from acts of violence and for a world free from terror and war, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For respect for the unborn and putting an end to abortion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people, that they answer God's call to religious vocations in the church, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, those that live with chronic illness, and for all that are impaired by addiction, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have lost loved ones, that they will feel your peace and comfort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our family and friends and the petitions we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass today for Frank Dubas and his whole family. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away, put them in there, okay. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Merciful God, who were pleased to create the blessed order of the seven holy fathers, a new man in your own image, the old having passed away, graciously we grant, we pray, that 
renewed by Jesus, your son, we may offer you an acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and, and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the, his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, Lord, you um, remember also, Lord, your brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Please sing number 326, The Body of Christ, number 326. This is the body of Christ. Blessed miracle of the greatest. 
greatest of loves, presence of God in our midst. This is the cup that he shares, endlessly emptied and poured, sacrifice made so that we might be saved now and forevermore. Amen, amen. We are healed by the bread of life. Amen, amen. We are This is the body of Christ, word become flesh by his grace, miracle of a mystery no tongue ever could fully explain. This is the blood of the and fills and provides. Amen, amen. We are healed by the bread of life. Amen, amen. We are one in the body of Christ. We are one in the body of Christ. Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of the seven holy founders and bring to fulfillment the good work 
you have begun in us until the day of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please join in singing number 390, City of God, number 390. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.